Hi, it's Vicki, and I'm back with an album. This time it's a baby album. I made this for my daughter, Kelsey. She is actually giving birth today, hopefully. She's been induced this morning. This album measures eight and a half by eight and a half with a two and three quarter spine, and I probably should have made it much bigger because as you can see, it's very bulky. I'm actually hoping she can fit pictures and whatever she wants, little memorabilia in this. I'm optimistic. We'll see what happens. So it is Winnie the Pooh. I got the paper from Joann's and I added calendars in with it from September to September so she can document whatever she wants on days where um, the baby's doing something interesting or fun or whatever. And I Put a lot of other papers with this that I had in my collection. I wanted to make it so it wasn't all just pink. She's having a little girl. And I wanted to make it a little more interesting than just all pink. So because it was getting so thick, I did not add any decorative papers to the backs of the waterfalls that I put in this album. And she can write on here or add pictures if she wants. I figured with a new baby she's going to want to write a lot and she's a writer. so. I did make pockets, which I don't normally like to do. That's just the first page. So now we move to the second page. I did leave the ephemera unattached at the top so that she could slide a picture or something behind it if she wanted to. And this is just a gatefold that I folded in the middle of the page and attached. Same with this side. And then it opens up to reveal another pocket. And these came with the Winnie the Pooh paper. So when she was little, she used to say, Winnie the Pooh, and I thought that was cute. So when I saw this paper, it prompted me to, to get it. I tried to put a little bit more flaps in here for Christmas time, December, January. Again, I opened the corner so she could slide something behind there if she wanted, or she can cover it up. It's up to her. It's her book to do with what she wants. So this is a really long. It opens all the way up. And I figured pink was really boring to have completely through the album, so I added other colors. I'm trying to stay on camera here, it's a little difficult. Again, I really packed this. I probably made a mistake doing that, but if she wants me to tear it apart and do it different, I can do that. A lot of the pages are very similar in how I put them together. I tried to minimize how many magnets I used in here. And this opens so that she can slide a picture in here and have it framed with Winnie the Pooh sitting in the corner. And this paper was uh, already embossed. I bought a big pad of different kind of embossed papers 
it was a 12 by 12 sheet. I can't remember where I got it, but it has a lot of different designs in it, which I really liked. And I figured that went well with the, with the bees. So here's another waterfall. And again, this can be lifted and I didn't put decorative papers on the back of this waterfall either for the same reason. This was just getting way too packed and that was even before I added the decorative paper, it was getting really full. So the reason I haven't been making very many videos lately is because I've gotten into card making way more than I've gotten back into the um, book making. And I've really enjoyed making the cards that I'm making. So this actually accordions all the way out. And then it flips out completely. I'm hoping I'm staying in in view here. Oh, it's just plain blue paper. There's plenty of places for journaling and pictures and little memorabilia. Whoops. We're getting to the end here and as you can see it's just packed full of stuff. So again I left an area where she could tuck pictures behind. Not these, but that one. really hard to decide which papers to use because it was double-sided and the images were just so cute but I was really grateful for the ephemera that I, I the ephemera did not come with it it was a separate pack that I purchased and here we are to September again page and there's still a lot of ephemeral left so she so chooses to put more in here which I don't know if she could even fit it but again these are waterfall pages I did not add anything to the back and I just tried to alter the alternate the colors so that it was a little more interesting and then again, I don't know if you can see if the camera's picking up the texture, but it's the honeycomb texture. And then that's it. I am hoping to get back into the album making. I do enjoy it. Um, I just have really enjoyed making the cards because they go so much quicker. And I have a huge family and there's always a birthday or anniversary coming up so it's always nice to have cards on hand thanks for watching if you have any comments please leave them in the comment section and thanks for watching